In this video, we're going to take a look at a tool called SourceTree, and we're going to learn how to use it to clone a Git repository. Welcome to Automate Now, I'm Marco Cruz. Let's dive in. And we can begin by using any search engine and typing SourceTree download. And then we're going to select sourcetreeapp.com. This is going to take us to the official SourceTree website. And here you can select to download SourceTree depending on the operating system you have. I have Windows, so I'm going to select Windows. The download is complete, so we can go to the Downloads folder and run the executable. If you have a Bitbucket account, you can set that up here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this registration screen. On this next screen, you're going to get two options, Git and Mercurial. I already have Git installed, so I don't need to install that again. If you don't have Git on your system, it's going to ask you to download it. We're not going to be using Mercurial, so I'm going to uncheck this box. You also have some advanced options here that you can choose. I'm just going to leave the defaults and click next. Here you can enter your name and email address and click next. Next is going to ask us if you want to load an SSH key. We're not going to be doing that today, so we're going to click no. And the setup is complete. Once Bitbucket has been installed, we're going to head over to github.com forward slash automate now. And here we're going to find some repositories that have been created. We can also select the repositories tab here to see all the repositories. And let's say that we want to clone this repo here called intro to web driver. So I'm going to click this. Next, we have this clone dropdown. So I'm going to click that. And here we have two different options, HTTPS or GitHub CLI. We're going to use the default, which is HTTPS. And here we have the HTTPS Git information that we need to be able to clone this repo. I'm going to click this button to copy this information. Now we can go back to source tree and click on this button that says clone. In this first input box, we're going to paste that information we got from GitHub. Then we're going to hit tab. And here it may try to pre-fill this information for you. And this is going to be the location where the repo is going to be cloned to. You can change this path to suit your needs. And this is going to be the name of the project. Next, we're going to click clone. And now we have cloned this repo from GitHub to our machine. You can verify this by going to the location where you cloned the project and see that a new folder has been created. And here we see intro to web driver located under C, automation, automate now. The last step would be to launch your favorite IDE to start working on the project. I'm going to launch IntelliJ and I'm going to click open. And on this window, I'm going to navigate to the project that we just cloned, Intro to WebDriver. Then we select the folder and click OK. And here we have the folder. If we expand this, you're going to find all the files in here. And we can go to this SRC folder. And here we're going to find main folder in a test folder. Let's go ahead and open this sandbox test class. And here we have many of the tests that we wrote in the Intro to Selenium Web Driver video series. And if you wish, you can start modifying some of these tests and running them on your own. Please comment below if you run into any issues. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video.